All right, hello, hello everyone, it's Happy, and I usually don't make replay videos, but this one was very exceptional with a crazy amount of damage, and of course a clutch at the end, so you definitely have to see, and of course it's regarding the E100, so I want to talk a little bit about the E100 before we get to the juicy part of the replay, and of course, as I always say, the E100 is probably the best tech tree line in the whole game, especially if you're a new player, this is a must have. This is a must first have tech tree line just simply because of all of its characteristics, right? The E100 in itself is a great, great tank, but the tech tree is also great. For starting from tier six, to tier seven, tier eight, tier nine with the E75. And finally, the E100 in itself are all great tanks. And in my opinion, they teach the player how to uh, play the game a lot more correctly. They're a little bit more forgiving. They have nice guns with juicy alpha, good armor, and they're not too fast, you know, they're not too slow, they're right in between. And in my opinion, they are just great, great, great first starters to have. But anyway, the E100 in itself is also a good tank. It's probably, uh, you know, I rated it above average in comparison to other tier 10 tanks. And that is again for a reason. The armor holds a lot of shots, especially if you can wiggle properly. Now the gun in itself is very fun with the 680 alpha, so you can trade shots very easily. And of course the mobility is not the greatest, but you do have to give something up in order to get something in there as well. Now, the, um, the E100 in this game is uh, doing crazy amounts of damage. At the moment, of course, he's fighting the uh, 263, which is a strong opponent, especially after the 10.3 armor buff. So the only thing we can really do in this situation is pretty much switch to gold and smash his face in. Because apart from that, apart from that tiny area, it's going to be very hard to pen. At the moment, it's a three versus three. And... Um, our main hero does a very good job at picking his targets. He picks his targets very well, and sometimes I feel like I don't do this correctly. For example, in this instance, there are, um, obviously, it's a two versus three at the moment, of course, and so he decides to not shoot the... Um, the uh, the 60 TP, but instead he decides to go for the E100 for that killer shot. This is very important because now he made the situation a two versus two and with it, he decreased the enemy's DPM potential, meaning that everyone can fight someone on their own and the other guy doesn't necessarily have to die. In my opinion, this is the moment that sort of saved the game because this is a very good decision and I would recommend everyone to assess the situation in game similarly. If there is someone with a low HP, I recommend definitely going after him if you really want to clutch, and that is very, very important. Low HP targets are definitely a must-have uh, first, because you need to kill them off, and the enemy will have less DPM, and your survivability is definitely going to be higher. Now, in this scenario, the 268 version 4 is also doing a good job at sort of holding off the 60 TP for some time, and the main character is able to, you know, slap 850 straight into the side. Now, this is going to be a clutch situation because, of course, um, the 268 version 4 is going to die. But you can see the difference in HP. But no matter, because the E100 has a fat, juicy alpha gun, which I really like because of it. I mean... Even with HE, you can do like 400 damage very nicely. And of course, as I said, if you wiggle the E100 properly, you will be able to block shots, guys. And this happens a lot. And uh, our guy is doing exactly that. The 60 TP tried to circle around, but he knows that it's pretty much in vain. And uh, again, uh, our main character is able to block a shot very effectively from the 60 TP. And at this point, the 60 TP panicked a lot and he whiffed his shot. And of course, the E100 is able to kill the 60 TP straight into the cupola with 10k damage. This is insane. And this is why I still think the E100 is probably one of the best if not the best, uh, you know, tech trees out there, you know, the whole line in general. So tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And with that, happy is out. And I'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye bye.